Hey Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. Okay, let's see what's going on. Okay. You are, I feel like, grounding, okay, getting yourself stable. And that makes you feel a little bit like you need to express something. Like, it could be, okay, you're being very creative here. This could very much just be about work that we're talking about right here. Blue chakra coming out with guilt. Like, you are getting recognized. Like, you're being looked at. You're doing all the right things. And you might feel a little guilty about that. Like, it might be something that you don't feel comfortable with, okay? Um, it may be a twist of fate for you that you've spent a lifetime seeking recognition and all of a sudden it's there and you're like, I don't know what to do with it, okay? So let's see what's going on here, Aquarius. Okay, I uh, just heard Scorpio in my head. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? Or again, this could be after a big rebirth. <laughs> the she-wolf the lord and the traveler okay again i feel like you are unleashing a part of yourself especially after that full moon that was very powerful and there is this authority energy that's coming out for some of you it's attracting okay this authority energy and um you feel guilty because maybe you've already accepted another job maybe you uh, are already moving forward with something else it's too little too late okay what's going on with the masculine energy in this reading okay oh rising up from the phoenix rising out of some ashes resurrecting okay if you're a feminine maybe you're suddenly yeah there's beloved maybe you're suddenly uh having a masculine like come into your life offering you the emotions that uh, you may not have expected. Oh, there's a hidden inner child in there. Yeah, knowing that you have succeeded in many ways to get where you're at right now. And they're matching your energy. The traveler. Okay. Um, Virgo energy there. Okay. There's a unspoken truth here that wants to be told, okay? This is for a masculine, you're on your soul path, and you want to speak the truth, okay? Yeah, King of Pentacles. You have done a big completion. You need to come up here with Aquarius. All right, Oliver, come on. Hurry. Why do you always wait till I'm in the middle of reading? Come. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You said hello. Oh, did mommy get in front of you? Did you not have your moment of shining? Okay, there you go. Moment of shining. Oscar's right here. Hi, Oscar. Say, I can't jump on that chair. I'm old, but I'm here with you, Aquarius. I'm here. Okay, the feminine, divine feminine energy here. Okay, it doesn't have to be female, but it is the heart centric one. Okay, one love. Yeah. Okay, Ace of Cups, loving yourself. Loving yourself deeply right now, okay? <laughs> uh, you're no longer into the player vibe. Impulsive energies in reverse. You're like, I'm not accepting any players. I need not apply. Oof, Oscar. Did that card come after you? He's like, that's what I get for trying to be a tarot reader mom okay that could be causing the stalemate that could be what you uh right you unleash this wild part of yourself and maybe somebody wants a little more and uh that's not the more you're looking for i mean you probably are but in a more intimate way right like you don't want just a one night stand okay like you're envisioning your your travels, where you want to go in life, right? Yeah. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. New energies, new movement forward. 
if you have not met this rising phoenix yet mm, they're coming in with that emperor's energy okay yeah and look at this okay here's a lesson in temptation okay you're like spirit mm -mm, i am on the up and up and spirit's like let's just see about that let's see how well you fight with the resuscitation of divine love okay it's pretty impressive there spirit okay so tell me what is going to require to be healed here spirit what's going to be healed here okay happiness path forward um, allowing yourself to be happy allowing yourself especially if you are the divine feminine to let a divine masculine come into your life that makes you happy that uh brings you this energy okay and again ace of pentacles to open this with a new point of view to have a new start to allow yourself to be seen okay to be in the embodiment of who you are and accept that and relish that yeah this is where the crossroads comes in and on you know on the one side there is probably another divine masculine because there's questioning here that comes with an end of a soul contract okay but the underlying energy here is the divine union okay and the burning desires to light up in your heart i feel like divine masculine has done their inner child work and they're ready for this but divine feminine still has an energy a ghost of the past that's still haunting them okay so what's divine feminine's intentions here spirit okay um they want to be given the rose they want to win they want to do it without doing all the work i feel like divine masculine has done roles can be reversed here okay again divine feminine does not mean the female in the party nine of cups divine feminine wants to win but they also want to win at loving themselves okay I want to be wild. I want to have my wild moment here, my travel moment, my um, eat, pray, love moment. But I want to be seen for more than that. Okay. Yeah. There you are in reverse, the Queen of Cups. Okay. We've got the star in reverse you're not sure if you're emotionally ready for this okay what are the intentions of the divine masculine here spirit thank you <laughs> knight of swords i'm coming in with some truth I want to speak my truth. I want to be honorable. I want to be truthful. Okay. Ten of wands. All right. I've carried this energy of being controlled for so long. And I don't want to be controlled anymore. I just want to be free. And yet they feel here. Because there we've got the queen of swords. They feel like they can't, right? They feel like they have to come in with passion. And they want to lead with their 
intelligence, their emotional, right, intelligence. And they feel like they have to lead with passion to meet with this she-wolf. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Again, they feel a little bit like they uh, have to play like youthful games, so to speak, in order to allow this to come into play. Yeah, okay. Divine Masculine is going to feel here like this is unrequited love. All right. But I don't feel like that's actually it at all, right? Or there is unrequited love here for another Divine Masculine sort of energy. That could be because there's children involved. Um, again, I do feel like there's some inner child healing that the Divine Feminine still has to do. But there is a lot of chemistry. That's what leads to that feeling that we have to be tempted. We have to be passionate, right? Pay attention to the red flags of um, letting someone in further than you're ready to go. Okay. But this is coming in very soon. And Spirit's like, you're going to have to decide what you want. Okay. Um, we want to see. Spirit wants to see, Aquarius. What do you want? All right. Where are you on your journey here? Yeah, you're seeking romance, Aquarius. You've even perhaps been writing down specifics of what you want. Or you're like, did this in the past and bless me and now it's actually coming to fruition again I feel like um, for some of you this could be dating app okay where you um, you have been seen before maybe by this person and then you work together but there's an energetic sort of a coming together here at play okay and there's an offer on the table. Now, this could be an offer, hey, join me for a wedding. This could be an offer for a job. This could be um, an offer to, hey, would you like to meet for coffee, right? They could swipe on your profile. However that happens, I don't know, dating apps. Um, but that's what it could be. And somebody here is running. Okay, because of the bad memories that left a bad taste in their mouth. All right, no? Okay, let's close it off with an oracle and then I'm going to move to the extended and look at your week ahead. Okay, week to two ish. Okay, um, yeah, old childhood story here is the obstacle taking a leap of faith, moving forward, believing in yourself. But that karma has come up to the surface, right? The divine timing for that to be cleared. And um, Spirit's like, we're going to hide those runner shoes. And you're going to have to work on this. All right? So I hope this helps you. Don't forget to give me a little thumbs up. It helps out the channel so much. Patreon is donation-based. You can give as little of a dollar if you don't have a lot to give. You can change it later during the month if you want to. You can change month to month if you want to. I just want to do it so that everyone gets that energetic exchange and it helps me out a lot. All right. So love you guys. Have a beautiful week and I will see you next time. Bye.